in this session let's learn database startup concepts okay we know what is a oracle database and a oracle instance right the database is a set of the physical operating system files right these file contains both the user data and as well as the database metadata which we are calling as data dictionary tables right yes and we also know every oracle database is associated with at least one oracle instance right it can have more than one instance running on the same database but a minimum one oracle instance will be associated with a oracle database okay and what is a oracle instance we already know oracle instance is a set of oracle background processes and the shared memory area which we call it as sga okay i am introducing again so that it will be a refresher for us for the startup concepts okay now let's see how a database starts up okay that's interesting if you don't start up a database it will be in a shutdown mode that means you cannot connect to the database and you cannot do anything so whenever you start up a database it will go to the no mount stage from the no mount stage it will go to the mount stage and from the mount stage it will go to the open stage okay so these are the steps followed whenever you start up a database and we know if the user has to perform the operations we have to start up the instance and then it should be attached to the database right yes so the first step is no mount stage whenever you issue a startup command oracle will read the data from the parameter file from the default location or if you want to mention you can manually mention the parameter file location while issuing the startup command after reading the parameter file it will allocate the shared global area and starts all the background processes right and we know the shared global area and all the background processes make up a instance right at this point no database is associated with an instance just the instance which is the sga and the background processor started that's all so what happens in a no mount stage oracle will read the parameter files and then allocates shared global area and starts up the background processes that means the instance is started that's all if we have to start up a database in a no mount stage we can issue the command startup no mount using this the instance will be started why do we need to put the database in a no mount stage that's a good question right yes we put the instance in a no mount stage whenever we have to create a database or create a control file or recover the control file yes whenever we need to do these three things we will put the database in a no mount stage okay next one mount stage mounting means as the word says mount we are taking the instance and then associating with a specified database that is what mounting means so in order to do that the instance check the control files specified in the control files parameter and then opens it once it opens it reads the names of the data files the online redo log files and will use those files to open the database okay so far the database is not opened for all the users the database is still closed only the dba can access it so why do we need to put the database in a mount state normally the database administrator puts the database in a mount stage so that he can perform some maintenance operations like renaming the data files enabling and disabling the archiving options that means if you have to put the database in a archive log mode or a no archive log mode you have to put the database in a mount stage yes 
and also we need to put the database in a mount stage whenever we have to add, drop or rename the redo log files. Yes, and there is another important use case that is whenever we have to perform a full database recovery, we have to put the database in the mount stage. Okay, remember these points. Okay, if you have to put the database in a mount stage, you can issue the command startup mount. Okay, and the final step of startup is open. This is where Oracle opens all the online data files and redo log files. Okay, if any of these required files are not present, then a media recovery is required. Okay, when opening these data files and the redo log files, it ensures that the data files are consistent. That means if the database was shut down normally, then whatever the data was there in the memory, that data would have been written to the disk. So all the data is stored permanently. That means the data is consistent. But if the instance crashed for whatever the reason it is and the database got shut down, whatever the data we had in the memory will not be written to the disk, right? Yes, if that happens, then Oracle database will perform a instance recovery whenever we are starting up next time. Okay, to open a database, we just have to issue the command start up. If you give the command startup, it will go from shutdown mode to no mount mode. From the no mount mode, it will go to the mount mode. From the mount mode, it will go to the open mode. Okay? Unless the database is in a open mode, no users can perform any transactions on the database. Okay? And we know how to issue those startup commands. If we have to start up the database in the open mode, all we have to do is say startup. If we have to issue in a no mount mode, we have to mention startup no mount. If we have to start in a mount mode, it is startup mount. Apart from this, you can also issue the alter command. If you want to put it in a mount stage, we can say alter database mount. Or if you want to put it in a open stage, it is alter database open. Okay, remember these commands so that you can start up the database in the mode you require. Okay?